Hello guys and welcome back to our channel Boss Hood Maras for today's video covering all the latest news updates and transfers roundup regarding FC Barcelona. In this episode, we have brought official and confirmed reports that Ansu Fati will be staying at the club for another 6 years and his release clause is as expected humongous. While Laporta aims at sealing the contract of Ousmane Dembele amid serious interest from other European giants. On the other hand, an Italian news outlet comes up with an interesting report that states that Barca may finally be able to bring in a quality centre-back along with many more such updates. So make sure you watch this video till the very end without skipping over any part. We kick off today's news update with the official news of course that Ansu Fati has signed a new contract linking him to the club until 2027. His release clause is set at 1 billion euros just like Pedri. It's being reported that on top of that, Fatih's new contract includes a staggered salary which will increase season upon season as the club continues to fight the financial effects of the pandemic. As per the report of top-tier journalist Mate Moreto, Fatih will earn almost 50 million euros gross over the next five years. Reporting further on this issue, Spanish news publication Mundo Deportivo stated that before the match against Kiev, Barcelona's director of football Mateo Alemani was in Portugal to meet with Fatih's agent Jorge Mendes and the final agreement for the renewal of the 18-year-old was reached. The agreement was for this season plus a further five seasons. Several European powerhouse clubs had also been interested in Fatih, something that Barca were well aware of thanks to Mendes. Faced with this situation, Alemani decided to take the initiative and go to Portugal to present a proposal in line with the agent's demands. As per the report of ARS Sports, Fatih had also rejected offers from Liverpool and Manchester United. Explaining this in detail, journalist Yelena Conde states that Manchester United, Liverpool and PSG all wanted Fatih and offered him a salary twice as high as he earns in his new contract at Barca. But he did not leave. This kid definitely loves the club. After officially sealing the contract renewal, Fatih said that he is so happy to be able to continue at the club that he loves so much. Now he just has to keep working and restore his confidence on the field. His immediate objective now is as always to continue improving day by day and as a person and compete to win everything. Speaking in the post-game press conference after the game against Kyiv, Koeman said that he lacks a certain few things and it is very normal. One has to remember that he has been away from the pitch for a long time and he needs time to improve in every way. He will turn 19 at the end of this month. At this age, he cannot be asked to solve everything that we lack without Messi. Speaking about Barca's 1-0 victory against Kyiv, Koeman said that this win keeps us alive in the Champions League and anything is still possible thanks to this win. But then again, they have to finish the game better than we did. He is happy with the team's game but not with the effectiveness. It's better to head to the Clasico with a win under your belt. Commenting on Barcelona's soulless performance in the second half, Koeman said that one has to realize that after the break, they also created three very clear opportunities and they had to finish them. They were risking their lives in today's game and thank goodness, Kayev have not been successful. The goal was to win but there are also some things to improve and there are also some very positive things. He would highlight the work that they have done without the ball and they have created much danger. However, as per the report of Sport, Koeman was outraged by Barca's failure to kill off the game in the chances that they created. He even swore at Fatih's inability to convert his chance and then reproached Dest for his mismanagement of the ball which led to a dangerous counter-attack. Jordi Alba, who was named as the MVP of the game because of his excellent performance on the left-hand side, said that the sensations of the second half are not like those of the first half. They must continue with the same intensity and sentence the games. They can still improve a lot. He said that he also expects a difficult game against Real Madrid, but then again, he also counts on the fans. But it's now a doubt if Alba will be able to play in the Clasico altogether, as top-tier journalist Javi Miguel reports that the test carried out today showed that Jordi Alba suffered a sprain in his right ankle. The only way he can play in the Clasico is by infiltration. A decision on what is going to be done will be made on Saturday. 
Incidentally, Dani Alves was also at the camp now, watching the game against Kayev, as he waits for Barca's response to him, offering himself to the club. After the game, the Brazilian right-back, who is now a free agent, said that Barca is in a process of acceptance and everything has changed. Now, they have to do things again as they did before. However, we cannot lose hope because Barca is always Barca. Recalling his days at Barca, Dani said that he remembers everything that he has experienced over here because it's still very fresh in his mind. He has it in his soul and there are some very good, very special memories. He also spoke very highly of Serginho Dest. He said that Dest is a great player and that this club, great players are always welcome. But then again, he has to understand how this club works, that it has an identity and that you have to live differently and also do things differently. You have to get the hang of it. Interestingly, it was reported after the match that there were only 46,000 people at the Camp Nou for the game against Dynamo Kiev which is a real shame because the Camp Nou can hold up to 100,000 people. Meanwhile, by scoring the goal against Dynamo Kiev, Gerard Piquet registered his 16th career goal in the Champions League, tying him with Roberto Carlos for the most all-time goal scorers among the defenders. Looking at the other games, Bayern Munich defeated Benfica yesterday. If in the next round, Barca beat Dinamo Kiev once again and Bayern repeat their result, Barcelona will rise to second place in the group and have a real shot at making it to the next stage of the competition. Top tier journalist Javi Miguel reports that the players went to a well-known restaurant in Barcelona where Coman and Laporta had the meeting five months ago regarding the coach's continuity to celebrate Ansu Fati's renewal and lift the team's mood who was still immersed in a deep identity crisis. The meeting was arranged by the captains to lift the mood before the Clásico on Sunday. Reporting further on the match against Kiev, Mundo Deportivo states that counting yesterday's 11, Barca have now already had 71 corner kicks in this season and have not yet taken advantage of even one. As of right now, however, the contract renewals are worrying Barca. As per the report of top-tier journalist Adria Albets, Barcelona's big goal is to renew Dembele's contract. The club wants to close the contract extension until the end of the month. Dembele has informed the club of his desire to continue but he has important offers from the Premier League and his agent is delaying the renewal. News publication Goal also confirms that Barca want to renew Dembele for two or three years with a salary reduction but Ushman's agent is now delaying the process by quite some time. Top tier transfer insider Mate Moreto also confirms that the negotiations could turn into a big mess with Dembele. The parties are not yet approaching each other. Ever reliable transfer insider Fabrizio Romano confirms that after the contract renewals of Pedri and Ansu Fati, the likes of Gavi and Araujo are next, and the new deals will be discussed soon. Dembele is also in the list, but his situation around the new deal is not very clear at the moment. As far as Araujo's renewal is concerned, ESPN reports that Barcelona and Ronald Araujo are discussing a five-year renewal and both parties consider that it's the right time to finalize the deal. Meanwhile, Mate Moreto has warned that the renewal of Araujo is not near. The defender ends his contract in June 2023 and Barca want to stay with him definitely, but they still have to negotiate the new contract. However, with the Clásico just around the corner, we might also have some real bad news as sports reports that Pedri will miss the Clásico except for a miracle. Reporting further on the much-awaited game, we have official confirmation that Jose Maria Sanchez Martinez will be the referee for Clásico on Sunday, while Jose Luis González González will be operating the VAR. News outlet Coop reports that on top of everything, Luis Enrique will also be at the Camp Nou on Sunday to watch the game. Of course, Barcelona president Juan Laporta eased some of the nerves around the game. He said that he has good feelings regarding the Clásico. The team has been improving and they have also recovered many of the injured players. They will be playing at home and so they will have the support of the public. And he takes the opportunity to ask the fans to come to the stadium on that day. He also added that he definitely thinks that Barca will win. Moving on to the next news update, we have the comments of Barcelona defender Samuel Umtiti that he made in his most recent interview with Mundo Deportivo. 
He said that he feels very good physically, he enjoys the training sessions and he really wants to play once again. He is waiting for the moment to do it again but on a physical level he is very fine. Umtiti also admitted that the whistles that he received during the preseason hurt him a lot. He never thought that this could happen to him at this club because he loves this club a lot. He does everything to be okay and he have had hard times due to his injuries but in the end he does his job very well. Next up, we have some great news as reported by journalist Mate Moreto that states that a new meeting with Sergi Roberto's representatives is not currently planned. However, it seems that the parties might speak again in November. With all that, we come to an end for today's news roundup. Moving on to the transfers section, for the first one today we have a report by Foot Mercato. It states that Newcastle United have contacted Ushman Dembele. The player wants a salary of 15 million euros a year plus a 15 million euro signing bonus. Moving on to the next transfer update, Spanish news outlet Sports reports that Barcelona can only afford Raheem Sterling in January if it's on a loan with a mandatory purchase option at the end of the season. The Manchester City winger wants to come but his arrival is also linked to Ousmane Dembele's possible contract extension. If the extension is achieved, then Raheem Sterling will definitely not come. For the next transfer update, German news outlet Bild reports that if Barcelona cannot pay him, then Manchester United and Manchester City are both interested in Dani Olmo. Meanwhile, Italian news publication Calcio Mercato has come up with some big news, as it reports that Mattaj Delete is not comfortable at all with his role at Juventus and would welcome going to the Camp Nou. He has a 150 million euro release clause but his wages are high and the Italians could be open to negotiating. Going to the next transfer update, we have a report by top tier journalist Gabriel Sanz. It states that club Brudge, Sheffield United, FC Andorra, which is the club owned by Gerard Piquet, Real Betis, Almeria, Parma and FC Copenhagen have all shown interest in Alex Collado come January as both the player and the club look for a way out. Barca want to loan him out but without a buy option. That's all the news we could collect for you today. If you enjoyed this video then please subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon, select all and enable all the YouTube app notifications. We have always been overly impressed by your response to our videos. So in this episode, we have decided to set a target of 550 likes. Please Skewlers, help us reach our target on this episode as well. Now that's all we have for today's episode. I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Until then, stay safe. Vishkal Barca, Vishkal Catalonia.